Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about a new lipstick collection from Givenchy. We have these new Le Rouge Interdit Intense Silk Lipsticks and Cases as well. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. All right, let's dive into it. I received a lovely PR package from Givenchy a few days ago. This is the wrapping paper here. It has the Givenchy logo on it. How extra, I love extra. And this is the little box that these lipsticks come in or they sent to me. I love it, it's very chic, very black and white. Well, I guess it's black and silver, but it's very Givenchy. Inside here, there are three lipsticks in the Intense Silk formula. And they also gave me this little, almost like a case or like a, a lipstick uh, holder, I almost said card holder, but I'll show you what I mean. It's just like a, a lipstick shaped holder like this. Just like that. It has a little metallic clasp here that holds it in place. And it's some sort of soft velour or velvet and then inside is red. Very fancy, very extra. So yeah love it. Now these three lipsticks are part of the Intense Silk formula. So I'm going to go ahead and break down the formula because they have multiple lipstick formulas that we've talked about on the on my channel in the past and I found a page here that has the three common or popular formulas broken down. So we have Deep Velvet which I have before from previous collections. This is the most matte. This is a bullet matte lipstick. It's the most matte, most powdery. It's going to be the one that's going to be more drying, but also the most long wearing. That always goes hand in hand, more drying, more long wearing at the same time. That's just the nature of it. And I do have the, the, this one here in a few colors. I think I have a couple of repeat colors. I'm gonna go ahead and do swatches later on, but. All the timestamps are listed down below. And then we have the Sheer Velvets, which I really, really love. And I love the Sheer Velvet because it's this like featherweight, powdery, soft finish. I love the Sheer Velvet formula for nudes. Any sort of like nudie, rosewood, your lip but better, it almost looks like a bitten lip. It's just so soft and so natural. It's sheer and blurring at the same time. It somehow blurs your lip line and just is so beautiful. It's also a bit more matte, but it's really, really lovely and very soft. All of the formulas have a range of like nudes to reds to browns and purples, whatever, but personally in the sheer velvet, I'd say go for the nudes because it has that like blurring natural bitten lip effect, I find that the nude collection looks best. And then we have Intense Silk, and I have a couple of the Intense Silk in this one here from the holiday season that just came up a few months ago. And then these ones here are all, are all Intense Silk as well. So this is like a semi satin matte formula. It says Intense Silk, but it's somehow a fusion of both matte and satin at the same time. It's not glossy it's not super wet and glossy but it has more longevity than a classic satin because it has a little bit of that matte twist to it and you can see at the bottom of the screen with the same lip color on different formulas it's funny because it almost looks like the sheer velvet and the deep velvet are similar but they're really not deep velvet is much more intense and saturated whereas the sheer velvet like the nude color I think that looks the best. And then the Intense Silk, when you first apply it, it does have a little bit of like a silky satin finish, but as the day wears on, it kind of, that matte finish sort of peeks through. So these retail at 40 US plus tax, but you can buy the refills and the refills are 31 US plus tax, which I really like that Givenchy does luxury, but also does, a little bit sustainable like you don't have to buy a whole new lipstick you can just buy the refill itself i like that this brand finds a way to do luxury and do a little bit of sustainability at the same time like they don't have to be completely at odds so when you have your lipstick tube you have your different cases you just yank it like this and then this is the lipstick here and then you can just purchase any refill you want 
click it in and away you go. And the lipstick uh, holder here, you just slip your lipstick inside ostensibly. Yes, there we go. <laughs> there we go. It just goes in like this and then you can put this in your purse if you feel like being extremely extra, which sometimes I do. So the three colors that I got, the first one here is 37 and that's their pretty classic red. It's like every brand has a classic red for their brand and for Givenchy it's 37. So this is the case that they came out with this spring. It is beautiful. I love the monogram Givenchy at the bottom. I love this black case here. It's very classic black and silver. It's just very clean, classic, very... It's understated. It's not too flashy. So this is a 37 here in the bullet. I'll go ahead and do swatches in a second. So 37 is a nice deep red and I have a bit of a tan right now because I just got back from Barbados a few days ago. So this will look different on me right now than it would a few months ago, but this is 37 and a lot of these colors, you can find them in the different textures that we just mentioned a few moments ago. The next one here in the Intense Silk formula is 110. This one here is very nude. It almost looks like a milk tea category of color here. It's very nude, but I'm gonna go ahead and see how this looks on me. This is described as a pink beige nude and it looks exactly like that. It looks a bit pink, a little bit beigey, a little bit nude, a little bit of everything wrapped in together. I'm not sure how it's going to look today, but I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. And then last but not least, we have Intense Silk 223. This is a nice, beautiful pink. It's rosy, it's pink, it's really lovely. I think it's going to be gorgeous for spring. I know that pinks for spring is not groundbreaking, but I don't care. I think it looks lovely. So it's a nice combination. And some of these colors, I kind of feel like you could do a nice gradient mixed together. Let me just go ahead and swatch some of the different textures underneath here so you can see for yourself uh, the differences I was talking about before. So this is Sheer Velvet 16. This is going to be like your lip, but better in like a soft blurring. It's very like a blurring matte powdery finish. It's very beautiful. It on like, I don't know how to describe it. It feels like nothing. It feels like silk, like a powdery baby powder silk. And it sort of just like blurs onto the lip. It's so beautiful. Then I have number 13 here in the deep velvet. So this is the most matte, the most intense, a little bit more drying than the rest. So you can see how saturated this is if we just compare it to this pink here, which I know is a different hue, but this here just looks so much more intense and opaque. And so this is um, not the color story, but the finish story, I guess, you're working with here. So if you want something that's going to be super intense, super saturated and opaque, go with the deep velvet. If you want something in the middle that's going to be saturated but a bit more silky and hydrating, go with the intense silk. And then for the lightest, sheerest coverage that's more blurring and natural, you're going into your sheer velvets. I'm going to go ahead and read off some of the claims, the descriptions about the intense silk and see how it actually wears. So this has hyaluronic acid for hydration. It also has prickly pear oil. That's supposed to help with the gliding and making it a smooth application. It has silk powder extract. It's supposed to, it, apparently it has 70% natural origin ingredients as well. It has acmella flower extract. It's supposed to soothe the lips. This claims to have a high pigmentation. It also claims to have 24 hours of preserved hydration. You all know how I feel about some of these claims. Like I think that these are going to be good lipsticks because I have tried the silk, the intense silk version before and I really like it. But a lot of these lipsticks claim to be moisturizing and hydrating for 24 hours. You're gonna need to zhuzh it up a little bit. Just in my experience. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch another Intense Silk lipstick. This is the one that I used over the holiday season. I love this one, 338. I was obsessed with it because it's a red but with like a hint of raspberry. It's not like too red, not too orange. It's like a raspberry pink red. And I thought it was really comfortable. Like I would wear it all the time. I wore it all the time if you look back a few weeks ago. And it was very comfortable, but 
it wasn't like 24 hours of chapstick. It was a lipstick after all. It's a cream formula. It's meant to be hydrating. It's supposed to be long wearing as well. And it has both a matte and satin finish. So from what I remember from a few weeks ago, when you apply it, it feels satiny and buttery like a satin lipstick, but as time wears off or time wears on, it sort of transforms into a more matte finish which I think is where the longevity comes into play. So we're going to go ahead and apply 337. Did I say 337? I meant a 37. So this is what I mean where this is like their classic signature red, but it's not too tomatoey, it's not too blue, it's sort of just almost has like a brick red to it, so it's nice. If you're someone who wants to try a red but is a bit apprehensive, this is a nice tone because it's red without being too red, without being too much, and I think this is, would also be really nice on deeper skin tones as well. Just a really lovely color. It's not too much. It's adding red and it sort of just balances everything together, but without being a little bit too scary. So. This is a 37 and these have a scent, but it's not perfumed. It's not a fragrance like a vanilla cupcake, but it's just that they sm it smells like a cosmetic product. I'm sure if you've tried a lipstick before or any makeup product, there is a scent. I always mention that because I try to think of like every question you would have if I was working at a counter somewhere, but you're buying online and try to think of every question you would have for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and move on to the next lipstick. I actually think I made a mistake earlier when saying that 37 is like their classic red. It is a red you see all the time. Like you always see 37, it's like this slight brick red, but they have another red, number 333 Antel which I think they claim is their classic red for the brand. So apologies for the mix up here. I am gonna move on to 110, which I hope still works for me with my uh, tanned complexion for the moment. For whatever reason, 110 feels a bit creamier. It's the same texture, same finish, but for whatever reason, this one here glides a little bit differently. I'm not sure why. 110 is our beigey pink nude. I do like it. I think I would maybe do my makeup a little bit differently. I might add a little bit more color on my eyes just to balance it. I don't think I look washed out or anything. I think. I would just, I think I would do a colorful eyeliner, like a purple or something, just to add a little bit more pizzazz on the eyes. But I do like the color. It's a it's a good description of it being like a beigey pink nude. If you like your nudes, this would be lovely. I think this would also be maybe a little bit better in the sheer velvet formula, but that's just me. I just think that the sheer velvet formula is ideal for nude lipsticks because the finish is so natural and something about a nude lipstick that looks natural to me is just like ideal. And last but not least, we have 223, our beautiful pink. I'm really curious how this will look today. You know, I think this might be my favorite color today. And this one again, really, uh, I, was, I was going to say glid, no, it glided on really nicely and it was very silky. It feels really silky when you apply it. I feel like the texture feels a little bit different than the first one for whatever reason, it could just be in my head, but this one feels just as creamy as the second one. And I think this is my favorite color. I don't know how to describe this pink exactly, like a little bit coral, a little bit rosewood, but warmer, I don't know, but whatever this shade is, I love it. Two, two, three, I think it's very pretty. I think it's just really nice for spring where it's a pink that's not super like flashy or bubblegum. It kind of reminds me of an everyday lip color. Like you could keep this in your purse or in your car and then just like throw it on really quickly when you're like going to places because 
This is a color that I think is going to wear it nicely. Like I'm wearing something really soft on the eyes today just to make sure it worked with all the lipsticks that I was trying, but I think this is a lipstick that's going to be like a sort of a workhorse color that you can just, oops, that you can just um, mix with any makeup combination that you have. So these are the new intense silk lipsticks from Givenchy. So I think that about does it for today's video on the new Givenchy Intense Silk Lipsticks. If you are new to my channel, I talk a lot about luxury beauty and I have a lovely French accent, so you may want to subscribe so you can enjoy all of this goodness. And I want to say thank you to Givenchy for sending this out to me. Also, if you're not aware, I have an online beauty consulting service. It's a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me, so if you have questions or concerns, about purchasing new makeup or your existing makeup collection. You get to get advice from the comfort of your own home without having to go outside. So I think that's it for today's video. Again, vote down below which lipstick color was your favorite today. And I think that's all, all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.